Hi everyone, I'm Joey. Well, I managed to get all four legs tapered down. Don't know if you can see that. Um, so that's good. In this episode, I'm going to make the top of uh, the, this little sideboard. And um, here is a picture of that, just so everybody can see what I'm actually working on. Um, it probably helps a lot to see kind of what, what my plan is. Um, so at the moment, it's a very fluid design, but this is kind of what I'm thinking of. Um, I'm going to get into making the top of that, like I said. Um, I just wanted to mention before uh, I get into it, you know, I had quite a lot of response, people offering money, giving me money, PayPal. Um, look, it's really humbling. And particularly one donation from Bert in, um, in Europe. Man, these donations are definitely keeping my business um, kind of overhead costs running at the moment. So that combined with my bank allowing me to shift some money around um, has meant that we are okay for about six weeks. So let's see what happens. Um, I'm not stressing too much about that at this point. Uh, it is what it is. And um, we'll deal with that bridge when we come to it. In the meantime, let's plan some wood. Point two. It's actually, it's actually much flatter than I thought it would be. There's a small wind in it, but I'm not going to be too fussed about that just yet. That's one thing I don't have is anything I can use as winding sticks. Hmm. I'll have to just do it by eye, I think. Unless anyone He's got an idea on what I can use for winding six. Um, right. I'm gonna make, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make the two edges 
I'm going to straighten out the two edges and then I can run a marking gauge along there for my finished thickness. So I set the marking gauge to the thinnest part of the board, which is uh, this corner over here. It's pretty thinner than I want it to be, but that's because I started taking the twist out of the board. So now as I plane this other side, if I can uh, plane it to that marking gauge line, the thickness should be fairly even all the way through. Now at this stage I just want to rough my boards to within cooey of each other so then after I glue them up I can then smooth them out and it will be all rel already relatively flat. Now like I said in the last video, um, I'm just learning this process really as I go along. I understand some of the theory behind doing all this but it's a completely different matter doing it, actually doing it. So the other side of this board was um, convex, so we've got a concave on this side. So what I'm thinking is the best approach here is to actually plane down with the grain on each side till I'm at my scribe lines and then see if that's enough to get come down to the middle part of the board where the concave is. And from there I guess I would just keep planing down until I get removed the, the roughness in the middle. I'll give that a go. So this board's actually pretty well flat. Um, there's some tear out which I'm going to deal with as best I can now and then I'm going to prep the other board, joint them together, glue them up and then I can kind of work out maybe a drawing of actually how big this unit's going to look and how the proportions are going to be. So I think you probably can't see because of the crazy contrast in here. This is the second board. I've flattened off the other side which was relatively easy but because the other board had a twist in it um, I needed to plane it down thinner overall to get the twist mostly out. Um, so unfortunately this board's actually pretty flat which means I've got to take quite a bit uh, of material off to get it to somewhere near the same thickness as the other board. It's about almost 5 mil on the edge. Whew, so time to get sweaty. And I think before I glue them together and join them, I'm going to do what I can to smooth off each of these. And I think it's going to be easier. So this kind of jointing has always been my least favorite thing. When I first started out, all I had was that number six I was using. And uh, I joined all my solid timber tops with it. And after even a year of just doing that, I still found it difficult. I'm finding it difficult now. It's pretty good. And I could probably force it. And, and I find that this last little fraction of a, of a millimeter just just refining it because right here I've got a perfect invisible join and I can't even see it from here until I start opening it up and it wants to sit 
nice and invisible. But down here we're looking at a quarter of a mil gap and it's just refining this last little bit and it's all very well running a, a plane along it and taking a fine shaving but I still find it doesn't clean things up. I'm not sure. But uh, I will persevere and see if I can get it just a bit tighter. So amazingly, we're pretty flat. The boards are pretty parallel, like this thing is not far off being bang on, which is good. There's a little bit of um, height difference between the boards just here. So I'm just gonna smooth this off and hopefully don't get crazy amounts of tear out. So I think I'm going to leave it there for this one guys, thanks for watching. Next episode, I'm going to, I'm th I think I'm going to leave the top where it is, at least now I know what size I've got to deal with. Um, next episode, I think I will get on to doing some of the joinery for joining the rails onto the legs. Um, and we'll go from there. Have a good one.